How to make a music visualizer video just like this? Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make a music visualizer. So if you have a video that you want to add a music visualizer sound wave to, or you have music you want to just create a video for, by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to do that. And if this video helps you, please consider liking and also subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out. All right, so to make our music visualizer, we're going to be using a tool called Veed. And while Veed does cost money, they have a free version of their product that works really well and will allow us to create this video for free. And check the description, I'll have an affiliate link down there. So if you'd like to support me, please use that link. So the first thing we need to do to get started is simply go to veed.io and then select create your first video right here. Once it loads, we can create our first project by uploading any files we need for our actual project here. So this can be audio, video, pictures, things like that. They also have stock footage and stock music below that you can use in your videos. And I'm just going to upload a music file from my buddy N91 Music, and I'll link to him in the description if you want to check him out. Once it loads, it'll then add the files to your timeline here, and then you'll have a preview over here of what your video will look like. Over in the left side, you can select settings and then go to size. And depending on what you're making your video for, either YouTube, which is just going to be a normal video, or TikTok, shorts, anything like that, you can change the size of your canvas to fit that accordingly. I'm just going to make a normal YouTube video here. So now that we have our song, and if I press play, you can hear it playing. To add our music visualizer, all we need to do is go over to Elements in the left sidebar, and then you'll see Sound Wave. Select View All so we can see all the options we have here. We have tons of different options, and you can customize these further once you add one. So I'm going to go ahead and add this circular one right here. I think that looks pretty cool. Once you add it, it'll add it to the timeline here, and then it will also add it to the preview where then we can move it around to center it or change the size of it by dragging and dropping the corners. I'm just going to make it nice and big and then center that. So now if I hit play, you can see it start playing. So with the sound wave selected, we have more settings for that where we can change animation. And this is really what it does when it starts. So I'll add a fade there. We can go back and change the style if we want to. So as you can see, I can change it like that. Select all the different options they have. And down under here in controls, you can change how sensitive it is to the music. So if you need it to be more sensitive or less sensitive, you can change that here by changing the dB. Additionally, we can change the duration by either changing these numbers or you can just drag and drop where it starts and ends in the timeline down here to change the duration of your actual sound wave. You can also add multiple sound waves if you want. So now that we have the sound wave added to the video, I'm going to go ahead and use some of their stock footage and I'll use that by going to media in the left sidebar and then selecting this little beach footage right here just because I think that looks pretty cool. So when I add it down here in the timeline, the video will actually be above the sound wave. Now in order to see the sound wave, I just need to drag the sound wave up above the video and then the sound wave will be played over the video as you can see. I'm gonna just change the color of this to be black so that I can see it a little better. And this stock footage here is not the full length of this song, so I'm just going to duplicate it by copy and pasting it. Now I have my video under my music visualization. And just to add some branding to it for my buddy N91, I'm gonna go back up to media and I'll upload his logo. So once I add it, it'll show it down here in the timeline and also show it in the preview. And I'm just gonna round the corners and then have it just sit in the center of the sound visualization just like that. Then down below, I can just move the image so that it plays for the entire video, like so. And now when I play this song, it looks pretty cool. You can see the visualization around his branding with the really cool stock footage behind that. Now that I'm done creating my video, to download it, all I need to do is go up to the top right, select export. Then I can choose my export quality. I go into the gear and I can change it here and then just select export video. So now it's gonna start preparing the video. So in order to download your video, you just need to select sign up here, go ahead and enter your email address and then select get magic link. Once you open the link, just select download right over here in the right sidebar, download it as an MP4. Then I have the video file downloaded. I can open it up and watch my video just like so. All right, so that's how you make a music visualizer video. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Veed tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.